In these two boxes, I have three items to show you. One's a handbag. The other two are accessories that I want to use with that handbag, all from the same company and all in the same color. What could they be, you ask? Stay tuned to find out. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's get right into this. This is one of the newer handbags from the company that I am revealing today. And as soon as I saw this bag, I knew I had to have it. And it's very similar to another bag that has been very, very popular on the market. And you've probably seen tons of YouTube videos about that particular bag. And I'll reveal what that is in a minute after I show you this one. This bag, I got two cards this time, is from Portland Leather Goods. Surprise, surprise, I've been revealing a lot from them lately because I've been completely obsessed and I do not use that word lightly. Okay, I was trying to unwrap this delicately and also spare you the crinkly sound of the tissue paper, which I can find terribly grating when I hear it in videos, but that wasn't working well, so I just took it off. This is the Lola bag from Portland Leather Goods, and this is in the color Honey, and wow, it is beautiful, and this leather is so dreamy soft. I'll bring it closer. Now, I will tell you, it definitely looks brighter on the screen than it does in person. My lights are making it appear brighter. It also looks brighter on the website than it does in person. And the listing photos, just about everything on Portland Leather Goods listing photos are brighter than they look in person. That has been my experience anyway. But one of the things I've hesitated about with some of their bags is they don't have glazed edges, they're raw. And the color, the way the die sits on the suede is different from the way the die sits on the top of the leather. In the photos, the edges look super contrasty on some of the bags, and they did in the photos on the honey, but in person, it looks great. It doesn't look super yellow like I thought it did in the listings. This is wonderful. I did order this from the premium bag section, so it's not an almost perfect, it shouldn't have flaws. But you can see, because this is natural leather, you can see some veining in this one. This is a smooth leather, and that makes the veining a little more obvious. You can see it there. Now, I happen to love that veining. I've always wanted some bags that have that, so now I have one, wonderful. There's also, not sure if it'll show up, but right there in front of my nail, there's a little spot. I'm not really seeing it on camera. It's stamped Portland Leather Goods right here, and this, is indeed a pocket, and will it fit a phone? Yes, it will. Not sure it'll fit a Max, mine is an iPhone 10. On the back, there's not a pocket, but that is really handy. Now my phone doesn't go down all the way, you can still see it sticking out, but that's okay, it's nice to have that outer pocket. The handles on this bag are tonal. It has D-rings on the outside of the bag with some chaps there, and that holds your crossbody strap. I'll model this for you in just a minute, but let me get the paper out and show you the interior. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, by the way, can you tell what bag it reminds me of? A bag I've talked about before being drawn to but never wanting to buy because of the giant letters on the front. Any ideas? Marc Jacobs the tote bag, anyone? I think this is so much better and I hope someday that Portland Leather Goods will come out with this bag in different sizes too. This is probably about, well, I was gonna pretend to say that this is probably about the median size of the Marc Jacobs tote, but I'm not going to pretend to know their sizes because I've never really looked at them in person. So the interior of this bag is the raw leather suede inside. You do have this big pocket on the back and that goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. There's no pocket on the front side of the interior, but you see what I mean about how the color is different on the suede part how it's much more yellow. I can tell that this leather is going to scratch easily, but I have heard that if you get scratches in it, you just kind of rub it with your finger and it comes out. And I haven't had that happen on honey yet, but I had it happen on another color, the deep water, which is a navy blue. And it was like magic. I just rubbed the scratch and it disappeared completely. Here's my MacBook Pro 13 inch. That is not going to fit in here. It's quite a bit wider than the bag, just so you know. I don't have a regular size iPad to put in here, so I'm not sure if that would fit the iPad 
iPad mini absolutely would. But if you don't need to carry a laptop, this could be a fabulous little work bag. This bag is so perfect. I love it. It's, it's exactly everything I hoped and dreamed it would be. Wonderful. The only thing I think could make it better is if it had a zipper. It does at least have this snap here though, and it's on these little tabs. So that makes it easier to maneuver it. And it's a magnetic snap so you can close it that way. Now before I show you what's in the second box, I'll show you one of the other items I got for this, which is a luggage tag. This is also in Honey. They sell their luggage tags in a couple of different colors. So far I've only seen brown and black, but then on the pre-loved market I have seen colors, colors from the rainbow. So this one's Honey and it has the mountain, probably Hood Mountain, because that's what's close to Portland and some pine trees. And I got this specifically to be a bag charm on this bag. So there it is. I've attached it a little weird. Instead of putting that strap back through the way it's supposed to go with the smooth leather showing, I put it with the suede side showing. That makes the luggage tag sit flat against the bag because if you do it the other way, then it sits tilted a little bit. So I don't know what I think about that yet. Let me know what you think. It looks better in person, I would say. So there's that. Now let's see what's in here. This is a special item that can be difficult to find on their website. I have heard and experienced that when they pop up, they sell out very very quickly. So I was lucky to score this one. At the time I'm filming this, they are sold out and they have been since since uh, within the hour of me buying this several days ago. Here's the inside. Remove tissue paper. We have this. They wrap their things so nicely. All right, this is the large snap journal in Honey. And this is a bit of an odd size. It's taller than I thought it would be. So I'm opening that up, just unsnaps there. And then you open it up here and it comes with a notebook. And then here's the interior of the journal itself. So this is a pocket to put the front of your notebook, or you could put it over here. This goes all the way through. So I would put my notebook in like that through the back, but you could also put it through the front or you could put it through both sides. And they sent me a lined notebook with this one but they also have blank pages. I think they're 80 pages for these notebooks. On the back, they say the Great Portland Leather Goods. And on the back of the leather notebook itself, it says Portland Leather Goods with pine trees. You may remember in a previous mystery box that I was sent from Portland Leather Goods for being an affiliate with them, that I got a small snap journal. So I wanna compare these two sizes for you, small to large. They do also have a medium and they sell those notebooks in all three sizes with lined or blank pages for $5 each. So here are the two sizes. That's quite a size difference. The small one is about the width, so about twice as small as the large. And I know this is four by six. The large is five and a half by nine. I'm curious whether that will fit astology because that's what I tend to carry. This one I have covered in some wrapping paper. It looks like it'll work, but then when you close it, it doesn't work. That's too bad. That Stalogy is A5, by the way, so this will not hold an A5. It's possible, though, that it would hold two of these notebooks, where you could put one here and one here. And into the Lola tote, this fits just perfectly. It goes end to end. Fabulous. So I was thinking this will be a great new work bag for me. I can use that notebook in meetings and other things when I need to take notes. Now I just need to get the pencil pouch in, honey. Maybe a few other things. Well, I am impressed with this bag. It is, like I said, just what I hoped it would be. So if you are thinking about getting a Lola, or if you're thinking about getting a Marc Jacobs tote, but you've had the same reservations that I've had about it, this is a beautiful, well-made bag. You can get in several colors. It doesn't have the giant letters on it and it's quite a bit more affordable. It's a fraction of the price of the Marc Jacobs bags. I think those in this size run maybe 400-ish depending on which one you get and this one is more like the hundred dollar range. Maybe a little bit more than that. Don't remember exactly and I got this 30% off. Usually they're just 25% off. So if you see a 30%, take advantage. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this bag. Let me know what you think of the Lola bag and what Portland Leather Goods colors or other colors you'd love to see one in because I would love to get this bag in a few other colors. I'm hoping when I go to the store that they have it in some other colors. Let me know in the comment section below and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.